Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I have a fun animated card using motion crafts, stamps and dies. This is part of a blog hop celebrating the latest release. Make sure to visit my blog to learn all about it. There is ton of inspiration as well as lots of giveaways. Now, if you are not familiar with this company, the idea is that you stamp one image and then uh, you need one of those grids to put on top of the image. And when you move the grid, you see the image animated. They have lots of uh, stamp sets available. I'm going to show you just a few here and I'm just demonstrating how they work. I just love those uh, stars and flowers that they go round and round. They also have stamps that match with dies as well as stamps that match with images that they don't actually move. So you can easily combine images to create your little scenes. They also have available dies to help you create those windows. This is the slider, the pull slider, and uh, this is the double slider, and that gives you two windows actually. So I will be using one of those for today's card to show you how it works. Now the grids come with every stamp set, but you can also get more of them in a package. Now, of course, if you don't want to use the black one, there are also other colors available. And if you want to create your own, they do offer one of those dies that you can cut out from any colored cardstock that you have or any pattern paper. Now you also have the option of stamping the image by using black ink, just as I'm going to demonstrate for you here, but you can also have the option to stamp them with different colors. So I'm going to show you here how it works with black ink. And then if I place the grid on top and slide it, you will see this little duck jumping up and down. But of course you do have the option of stamping the duck in other colors and that's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate today. And uh, you also have uh, the option to use the grid die to cut out your very own grid out of any colored cardstock. Now I'm just going to show you how this one is going to cut out. Make sure that you use the precision uh, platform if you are going to cut it out with your Sizzix machine or a, metal, um, a metallic shim like I'm using here. This is going to make sure that it's going to cut nicely. I'm also passing it through a couple of times. This is a very intricate tie, so you need to make sure that everything is going to cut out nicely. And you can see that it works fine over the stamped image. Now for today's card, I am going to use the black grid, but I'm going to stamp the little duck with color. So let's go ahead and do that. The adorable duck is actually from the Be Happy stamp set. I'm going to stamp her with um, orange ink and I'm wiping clean the eyes. I'm going to use black later on to do that, so I'm going to do some multiple stamping and that's, that's the reason why I'm using my stamping platform. I want to stamp on top of the same image again and again. Now I'm just trying to make sure that the eyes are clean. I'm going to stamp the image one more time. I did get a good impression, but I will go ahead and stamp it one more time. I need to make sure that this is going to be nice and vibrant and really crisp because I want it to show through the black grid that I will be using later on. So I'm stamping one more time and now I'm going to use a black uh, memento ink marker and I'm going to add ink only on the eyes. And because I'm working with a marker, I didn't get a very crisp image, so I'm going to do it a couple of times just to have that black ink nice and vibrant. Now, although I will be using the black grid later on, I just want to show you that um, it really works with the cutout grid. So I'm going to slide it here and you can see the duck jumping up and down. And I'm going to show you that you can add even more color on your image. So I'm going to use a yellow marker here. This one was quite dry. So I'm using a yellow marker to color the, the beak. And my duck is ready. It looks kind of funny, but when you place the grid on top, it looks perfectly fine. Now to create my window, I'm going to use the pull slider die set. It gives you lots of dies. Two of them are the main dies that you need. These are the two ones that I have here. And uh, to put them together, you need to make sure that you fold on every little crease. And when you use those dies, they actually create those uh, scoring lines for you. So it's easy for you to just go over them with your bone folder and reinforce them. 
Now this is actually going to be a stabilizer for that slider piece and um, they actually have uh, motion crafts have a video which is very basic and step by step that you can follow easily to create this. I just saw that and it was easy for me to recreate it and I'm going to make sure to link it here and down below the video. Now I am using uh, little pieces of uh, double-sided tape and on the stabilizer and um, this is actually one eighth of an inch double-sided tape that really makes your life easy when it comes to putting uh, these uh, slider cuts together. So I'm going to place it there and the flaps are going to go over the big window cutout. And you will see that later on this is going to make a big difference on stabilizing your card. Now all I'm doing is adding this double-sided tape all around that window and then I'm going to stick the grid on top. And of course don't forget that at this stage instead of uh, sticking down the black grid you do have the option of uh, sticking your own grid that you have created with a die or the ones available in the market that have different colors. And I do have to say that when you use the black grid it really makes a big difference. The animation really looks more crisp so I have a panel here which is a standard card size and I have also used a circle die to cut out a little window. I also used one of the dies from the same slider set to cut out this uh, tiny little slit and this is where you can fit inside that little tab. So I have a standard card size here uh, that I created from orange cardstock. I'm going to stick this uh, little guy on top making sure that he is going to be nice and centered through that uh, window that I have cut out. And I have also cut out different pieces from the same slider set to embellish my card even more. So there are little tabs that you can stick on top of uh, your uh, main tab just to embellish it a little bit more. And I used the same cardstock, the orange cardstock for that. With the circle dies that I used to cut out that uh, little window there, I nested them one inside the other to create a little ring just to place it on top for a more finished look. And now finally it's time to put everything together. So I'm going to take this window, slide it through the slit so the tab comes at the front and notice how I have some double-sided tape on the two sides of this panel at the back. Now you need to stabilize this somehow and remember that die that we had at the beginning that I called a stabilizer. This is exactly where I'm going to add a strip of double-sided tape. So I'm removing the backing and now I'm going to stick that at the back. Now this is going to stick down only the stabilizer but not the whole window which I will be able to move easily with the tab. Now all I need to do is to remove the backing from my two foam tapes and put everything together. For my sentiment I used one from the same stamp set as the little duck that says just wanted to say quack. I used Versamark ink and white embossed it and I'm keeping this card really simple just like it is. I think that this animation really makes the card and it is really mesmerizing. You can play with it all day long just watching the duck going up and down. So that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, don't forget that this is part of a blog hop celebrating the new release, so make sure to visit my blog to learn all about it and enter the giveaways. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time!